Have you ever noticed that your videos don't sound loud enough when you upload them to YouTube? Or perhaps you have the opposite problem where your audio is too loud, so much so that your video sounds distorted. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your audio levels just right so that your videos will not only look great, but also sound amazing. There are two components to optimizing your audio in your video editor. The first one is to know how to adjust the levels of your audio and apply the right effects. And the second is to be able to meet the levels so you know where your volume level sits against the standard of measurement being used by the streaming platform of choice. Most platforms measure audio in LUFS, which stands for loudness unit full scale. And this is a measurement that gives you a reading of your overall volume on your audio file over time. YouTube specify that you provide an audio file that does not go louder than zero decibels when you set your audio meter to negative 14 LUFS. Now, I know this sounds really confusing right now, but don't worry, I will explain this in the hands-on section of this tutorial in just a moment. As a matter of interest, what happens to your audio if it is louder than the standard required by YouTube? Well, nothing really. You see, YouTube will still allow your video to be uploaded, and they know that most people aren't gonna go to the effort to apply the right standard, so they'll normalize the audio for you and bring it down to the right level. Now, the only downside here is that you're leaving it up to YouTube to do it, and if you go the other way, that is upload a file that's not loud enough, YouTube will leave it as is, so your video will end up being too quiet. You'll never get a consistent audio level, and you're kind of leaving it to chance if you don't meter the audio. That's why I wanna show you how to test it and adjust your audio before you upload to YouTube. Now, before we do that, let's do an audit of one of our existing videos. Go to a video that's been uploaded to YouTube in a desktop browser, right click on the video, and you should now see the Stats for Nerds technical data overlay. If you look at the fourth line down, it reveals the information about your volume. The first number refers to how loud your volume is set in the player. So if you adjust the volume slider left or right, it will change from zero to 100. And the second value refers to any volume adjustments that YouTube has made to normalize your audio. So if your audio was too loud, let's say by 30%, the second value would show a figure of 70% showing that YouTube is playing your audio at 70% of the original volume. And in the brackets, you'll see the content loudness, which shows you the reading of your audio according to this standard. For this particular sample we're looking at now, the audio was 3.9 decibels over zero, which means it was too loud. And that's why it was normalized by YouTube, bringing the volume down by 36%. So now that we know all that, let's take a look at how to measure our audio file against the LUFS meter and make any necessary adjustments to get the levels 100% right before you render and upload. You can do this on any advanced video editing platform such as Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I've used all of these and they all do it in pretty much the same way. But for today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do it using Premiere Pro CC. To start with, I'm going to import a video file and drag it on the timeline. So I've got Premiere Pro CC open. I'm in the editing tab and I have a video clip on the timeline here. And if I play that back, you can see there's a meter on the right hand side, which gives us a basic sense of our levels. And as I mentioned earlier, the aim is to get your levels up to the zero mark. So at the moment, if I just listen to this audio, it's well and truly below the required level. However, we aren't testing it against any particular standard unit of measurement. So that's where we're going to, first of all, before we adjust our levels, bring up the LUFS meter. So in order to do that, we're gonna go into the audio tab. And when you do that, the first time you open the audio tab, you'll be on the audio clip mixer. We wanna click on the audio track mixer tab within the audio section. And then we need to extend this little arrow on the left-hand side to bring up our inputs. And as you can see, we have our track numbers here, track one, two, three, and four, and also our master output track. On the first track, I'm going to apply a hard limiter, which allows me to bring up the level of the track. And then on the audio output track, 
I'm going to apply my loudness meter. Now you could apply a loudness meter to each individual audio track, but it's much more efficient to get a reading of your overall mix, which is why we're choosing the audio output track, which is the last track on the right hand side of the mixer window. So to add our loudness radar meter so that we can check the levels, we're going to select the drop down special loudness radar option. And then we're going to double click on the effect and we'll change this to the LUFS standard. And you can see it's selected to LUFS and we're now gonna change the target loudness from negative 23 to negative 14 by using our slider. Then we go back to the radar tab and tap on play on the timeline and let's get a reading of our audio levels limiter in order to optimize the audio and the second one is to be able to meter the levels so that you know where your volume level sits against the stand so we can see that our volume is way too low here at an average of negative 24 luffs so i could adjust the volume by lifting the volume on the audio track itself or we could use the hard limiter and increase the value maybe to around eight or nine decibels there. And if we click back in our loudness radar to bring up our meter, click on play audio when you're in your video editor. The first one is to know how to adjust the levels of your audio and apply the right effects, including compression and perhaps a little bit of a limiter. So we're really close now. It's given me a value of around negative 15. So if I wanted to get a little bit closer, I'll go back into my hard limiter and we'll go from nine to about 11. Click back on the radar, click play. It stands for loudness unit full scale. And this is a measurement that gives you a reading of your overall volume on your audio file over time. YouTube specify that you provide an audio file that does not go louder than zero decibels. So as you can see, we can look at the loudness radar and you can see that the levels are always below negative 14. So at negative 14.5, we're 0.5 under the maximum output of volume that's compliant with the YouTube standard. So I would have to say that we've got our mix about right. And on the right hand side, you can see we're mostly under the zero and occasionally we're hitting zero or just above, peaking ever so slightly, but as an average, it's going to maintain the negative 14 requirement of YouTube and that is the correct level for uploading your video to YouTube. So that's all you need to do in order to test your audio level against the LUF standard. Remembering that each platform has a different number. It's either gonna be around negative 14 to negative 16. Sometimes it'll be around negative 20. But for YouTube, the aim is to keep it in at around the negative 14 LUFs to avoid normalization of your audio. So once you've completed your project, the final thing to do is to export your project. So to do that, we're going to go into the export media tab. And if you like, you could select a preset for YouTube. So to export to YouTube, we're going to select the H.264 standard and then in the drop down preset option, you can select either 1080p or 4K resolution. For this example, I'll just select 1080p. Because we've already applied our loudness levels, we don't need to go through this step. But if you wanted to make sure or if you don't have the time to go and check your audio the way I showed you in the previous step, you can have it all done for you automatically in this final export section under the effects tab. So to do that, we click on the effects tab, click on loudness normalization, and then we can select our negative 14 LUFS standard. And we can also specify a tolerance. And with regards to the tolerance, you can have a very slim margin of tolerance or slightly more depending on how definitive you want your level to be. I'll generally just leave this as the default at around 0.5 and the rest of the settings we can leave as is. And now we can export our video with full confidence that our audio is going to be at the right level. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any comments or questions you'd like to make about this video, feel free to drop them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. See you on the next one. Bye for now.